So in this video we're going to talk about series and parallel circuits. Um, and this is particularly important for anyone who's thinking about doing one of our electric vehicle courses. Uh, but it's also quite interesting um, if you want to diagnose faults on your old classic car and the such like. What does series and parallel mean? Well, here I've got two little light bulbs. These are interior lights. And if I connect them to my power supply, I've got a negative and a positive. If I connect them like that and link the middles together, then that's in series one after the other. If I connect them like that, then they're in parallel. Not very difficult really, is it? But what happens to the voltage and the current in these two different cases? Well, something surprisingly different. If we have a look at what happens uh, if we just have one bulb on, first of all, and we can see we've got about 0.4 of an amp going through it. And the bulb's reasonably bright. Now, if I disconnect that, and I put two of them together, so if I connect the two positives together, like that, they both light up. Now what you'll see is now we've got more current going down. In fact, we've got about 0.7 of an amp going down there. They're both the same brightness as each one was before. That's because they've both got the same voltage across them. That voltage, that potential for doing work, is the same across both of them, so they're both lighting up to their full brightness. But because there's two current paths through there now, there's twice as much current going through. Twice as much current, same voltage, each one's as bright as it normally would be. Now, if I disconnect that circuit, and instead of parallel, I connect them in series, one after the other. What do you think is going to happen? Well now the current's got to go through that one and then through that one. So the voltage isn't across that bulb, it's across both of those bulbs. So each one's going to see half the voltage. So now when I connect them together, they're much dimmer. So now each one's only getting half the voltage. And because it's got half the voltage, it's sinking half the current. Now we said earlier on that power was voltage times current. If it's got half the voltage and half the current, that's only a quarter of the power. And that's why it's so much dimmer than it was when they were both in parallel. So that series, they're both working together, goes in through there, through there, through there, and out through there. Now, we can use the same series and parallel idea when we're building up battery packs as well. If we take one battery here and put it in series with another battery there, then we've got that voltage there and that voltage there and they add up together and we get a higher voltage. Same current going through both of them. If instead of putting them in series, we put batteries in parallel, then the voltage would be the same. We haven't changed the voltage, but now there's twice as much current available. And now we've got a battery that can deliver twice as much current, but at the same voltage. So series and parallel, very useful ideas, very important when it comes to electric vehicles, when we build up battery packs. Uh, we use lots of little tiny cells in an electric vehicle, and we put them all together in series to get the right voltage, whether it's 200 volts in a hybrid or 800 volts in a high powered electric vehicle. That's all because we've taken three volt cells and added them all up together in series. To allow it to deliver more current, we'll add extra batteries in parallel as well. So generally we have some parallel, some series in an electric vehicle battery. So there you go. Series, parallel. It's not that complicated really. All good so far.